Good morning guys and welcome to Velvet Hammer Fitness here on Patreon. Well it's a new year and it's time to set some new goals and crush some new goals. And the first one that we're going to crush today is your jackhammer challenge. So I thought that it might be a little bit of fun to ring in the new year with a kettlebell workout, okay? So we're going to do some kettlebell conditioning circuits, they're going to be 40, 20 intervals, we're going to go through each circuit three times, and we're going to sandwich in between those circuits some nice pendulum lunges, a minute of them, okay? So after we finish all that, we're going to work on the lower part of our abs. We don't have lower abs, we have lower portion of the rectus abdominis muscle, okay? And remember, we can't spot reduce. When we think about zoning in on a, a certain portion of our body, it's just to strengthen it because it really is a, a balance of lean muscle tissue and making sure that we are lean enough to see those muscles and strengthening those muscles that helps us to see definition in those areas and to reduce overall body fat, okay? Because we can't reduce body fat where we want it. Wouldn't that be nice if we could? We reduce it where it will by getting enough cardiovascular exercise in, by strengthening muscles, and by really making sure that we are um, eating in a way that helps us to be lean and strong, okay? So, I'm gonna be using two kettlebells for one move. Other than that, just a wide range of the kettlebells that I have will be used, and um, if you don't have kettlebells, just use some dumbbells and you'll be just fine. What you cannot do without for this workout is your can-do attitude strapped right on and your water, okay? So when you have everything you need, I will see you back here for your first challenge of 2021, Jack Hammer. So, see you in just a minute. All right, guys, let's get this kettlebell challenge started off with a good warm-up. Let's start with just warming up those shoulders. We're going to do a lot of overhead pressing moves, so I really want you to focus on getting your shoulders warm, creating some space there. Reverse. All right, one more circle. Now we're going to crisscross those arms. We're going to step while we're doing that. If that's too much to coordinate, I get it. You can always just keep it here, okay? Do one more each side. One, one, open up those hips. Kettlebell for and then warm up swings and some upper body moves. Do one more each side and one, one. All right, get a nice light kettlebell. We're going to do some curls with presses. Curl. We're going to add a squat. Make sure to keep that core tight. <clears throat> we don't use the weights that are the heaviest for us to warm up. We forget and we don't really feel like we have to tighten our core as much. But it's still important no matter what to keep a nice tight core. Let's do one more. How about that? Good. All right. Let's swing. Don't remember with the swing. Not using our arms hardly at all. We are just sending those hips forward. Using all posterior chain muscles to launch that bell in front. Shouldn't have said launch. We want to hold on to the bell. We do need our arms for that. And to get it swinging, 
we absolutely need our glutes, our hamstrings, a lot of power from those hips. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Go ahead and put that bell down. We're going to come down to our mats and do some push ups. Let's reach up high, inhale, exhale down. Start these on your knees. Ask your arms nicely. Ask your chest nicely to do what you say. You don't have to go in, guns are blazing. Just a few more seconds here, your warm up finished. Four, three, two, Very good. Very, very, very good. All right, your warm-up is finished. I want you to get a quick drink, get your weights out for your first four moves, and I'll see you right back here for that. All right, guys, you have 20 seconds before I have to get started. I'm going to be using a 30-pound kettlebell for a clean into a rear lunge on the left. So I'm going to be lunging back on my left foot, and I'm going to be cleaning with my left arm, okay? So remember, you're just coming from here, getting that bell here, and then you're gonna take a rear lunge, okay? Just a few more seconds and we'll get that party started. Here we go. And go. To the shoulder, lunge it back. Keep that chest up. We're using our legs to get that weight where we want it, okay? 15 seconds to go. You got this. To the shoulder. Good. All right, 20 seconds. We're doing a renegade row. Do a jack, okay? So, all right, here's what I'm going to use my two bells, okay? You can, if you have one bell, just do alternating rows um, in chair pose. You can just do plank jacks if you want to do that. I am going to row it up with one side. I'm going to row it up with the other side. I'm doing two plank jacks just because I'm starting with my legs out wide and I like the rhythm of it. Good job. All right, get those out of the way. Clean to rear lunge on the right. So, weight in the right hand, lunging back on the right foot. My front is so hot right now. Woo! There we go. Clean it. Nope. Blend it. I'll get it one of these days. Lunging back on that right. Oh no, it always makes me want to lunge back the opposite side. Eight seconds. How you doing? Good. All right, I'm gonna take my heavier bell for this last move. This is 53 pounds, okay? We're gonna do a burpee. So I'm going to do a push-up on my bell 
while the bell is laying down, okay? Here we go. I'm gonna dead lift it up. This is a fun one. If you have a super heavy kettlebell, all the better. If you don't, I want you to squeeze as though you do with those hips and those glutes. And one, very good. 20 seconds, go into that first move again, clean to a rear lunge. Five seconds to go, grab a quick drink if you need it. Here we go. Clean it. Lunge it. Twenty to go. You're halfway there. Doing great. body weight too. And then I'll do jacks. Whew. That one makes me winded. Here we go. Taking it back. don't seem long enough, but they're so much better than 10. Reach back with the right. Use your legs. Use a nice challenging weight here. For you, tighten your core. So important. Four. Don't frown because it's hard. Smile because you can. Whew. All right. We're back to deadlift burpees. You know what I didn't do? I made it a pendulum lunges. There we go. Maybe we'll just do a minute afterward. Done with the big circuits. I like that idea. Please, this is not a heavy weight for me for deadlifts. So I have to make sure that I'm squeezing extra hard. Try not to hyperextend your spine, but just squeeze those glutes as you stand up straight. Nice. All right, this is our last round. Take a minute for at least 20 seconds. And 
ready to get out. I know you're tired, I'm tired too. Here we go. Clean, to rear lunge. Let that bell rest on the meaty part of your shoulder. Those caps. Halfway there. It's your last round, remember that. Put it all in perspective. Even hard things don't last forever. I mean that in every sense of the word. Good. Ooh, that's awful. Awful fun. Renegade Rose and Jacks. Guys, I have a major blooper. <laughs> I fell right off doing those Renegade Rose, so here we go again. The magic of television. I probably shouldn't have even admitted it, but I'm one of those guilty conscience people. I don't want to be phony to you guys. So I always try to be true to who I am. And who I am messes up. chest is up. We expose our spine here in this position. So make sure pushing up through those heels that you've got your core nice and tight, that you're squeezing your glutes. You know what? I forgot our clean on the right. We'll do that last. Something was missing. Good. All right. Just threw you off a little on the order. Okay. Whew. Breathe it out. to go back every time that I lunge. Getting some good shoulder work here as well. Good shoulder stabilization. Five, four, three, two, very good. All right. I'm going to give you about 35 seconds here. We're going to do pendulum lunges on the left for a minute. Oh, good times. 15 seconds for us to get started. There we go. Holding my bell in the opposite hand as my left leg comes forward and back. Once you start to get off balance with a kettlebell, it seems to mount on each other. The stumbles mount on each other. So make sure you just Reset, tap the foot in the middle, and start again. I'm hovering just for an extra challenge. 
and an extra bit of embarrassment, I guess, when it doesn't work. to a press jack in the middle. So I'm going to use my 20 pound bell for that. I'm going to be wishing I had 25. I don't know if Activity think completed. 30 is going to be a little too much for me. So we'll just see about that. Then we're going to have some toe taps on the kettlebell. I'm going to use my biggest kettlebell and tap my toes. Okay. Then we're going to do squat swings. And then we're going to do kettlebell push-ups to knee tucks. Okay. You can do an exploding double knee tuck here. You can do single knee tucks. It's all good. Okay? So, you have 20 seconds. This first move goes like this. Okay? I might keep it here and go there. Okay? Um, you can also add a jack, which is what I intended to do in the, to do in the beginning. So, if you're going to add the jack, you're going to come here. Oh, let's do that. Okay. Here we go. Okay, sicko made this up. <laughs> That's fun right there. But this little kitty, she just curled up right underneath my arm and went to sleep and purred just so sweetly. And it just killed me. Then in the middle of the night, because she was not sleepy, <laughs> because I woke up to little paws batting on my thumb and biting it. It was so cute. I couldn't even handle it. All right, I'm going to take my big bell now. I'm going to set it on its side. I'm going to tap my toes on it. And you are too. Tap your toes on whatever you need. There we go. Shaking you all to death. Sorry. Creaky floors. Lovely camera. Only the best here on Bells and Hammer Fitness. <laughs> Only the most real. I get a little back uncomfortableness. 
Is that a word? Probably not. A little bit of back discomfort. Here we go, nail it. So, regular swing, squat swing. drown me out. Unless you just love stories about my son getting attacked by cats at night. In which case, blast me. Turn me up loud. Okay. Elbow push up to knee tuck. Any kettlebell will do for this. I like to use a wider one. Bigger one. Just to have a wider Base to hold on to. I put my hands up here on the handle. You can come here and knee tuck. You can also do it every other one. Hold a nice strong plank here. This is core two. Use your glutes. Last one was easy. Okay. Second round. I think. Yeah. Alternating side lunge to toe tap with a jack. Toe tap, those are next. I don't know what I'm thinking. There we go. Press jack. Have fun with it. No old round because it's hard. Smile because you can do it. You may not be going as fast lifting as heavy as you'd like, but you can do this. Very good. Go tap on that bell. There we go. You can take it around. Please be careful. Your belly behind you. Only time I've had a client get hurt on my watch is when I had a friend doing toe taps on a BOSU around the world. Somehow she got off balance and fell backwards onto some weight. Which is like pretty much the worst could have happened. So we gotta be careful. Gotta watch our feet. Three, two, one. Good. Alright, let's have that shoe too. Alright. Our next move is gonna be a squat swing. These can just be regular swings. No harm, no foul. Okay. Get a couple regular swings started. Get your form going. Then come down. All we're doing is dipping. It's hard not to use your arms there. So you want to dip your butt and make sure those arms don't come back to bite you. Three, two, one. Ah. Very good. Now ball push ups to a knee tuck. I am desperately out of breath. How about you? 
and sweaty. Okay, push up. You can go here. Notice I'm holding it the opposite way. I really don't like that as well. I like having those handles out for more wrist support, but that's just me. Tuck it. Ooh. One second. jack up my back so if you don't have a lot of weight go for greater speed greater range of motion one of those two to really challenge yourself keep that chest up one good last time you have to do that Toe taps on your bell or next. Oh, good times. Here we go. Think. Happy thoughts. Think about good speed. Sorry about my creepy floor. We all got them. Well, maybe not. But I always have them, no matter where I am. Apartment, foreign pump. I was showing a house today that was terrifying. It had moisture under the floors. I told my buyers, I'd really rather you have a place I'm not worried about you falling through. Three, two, one. Movement over. We've got squat swings next. Dirty bell for me. Start with those regular swings. Five seconds here. We're gonna do our pendulum lunges, two rounds on the right. And I think I might do some pass through lunges. Uh, 
Oh. Actually, take about a minute break. Then we'll get into our abs. Got 30 more seconds here. You're welcome. Nope, 15. Nope, 20. Something like that, 15. Okay. It must be blooper pulled in today because I just did the exact wrong leg for about a full minute on these lunges. So we're going to hold the kettlebell of our left hand. We're going to take our right leg forward and back, okay? Whew. Praise the lady. Here we go. One leg is going to be harder for balance, for strength. This is my wonky knee. It gets angry at me sometimes. So I'm going to take it a little slower on this side. I'm going to actually try to hover, but it may not happen. Do what works for you. Now that doesn't mean when bows you're just <laughs> feeling lazy, but if something does not suit your body mechanically, or if you have something that just gets angry, you do a certain move, and I don't mean cardiovascularly angry, because we all get that. But I mean something that just doesn't work for your joints, or feels like it's going to make you injured, just don't do it, do something else. Just say no. Here we go. Uh oh. Somebody's in trouble. Woo. You're about halfway there. This is not a heavy weight, but boy, it's challenging me today. Get my core. Good. All right, guys. I want you to take about a minute break. We're going to get into our ab set, so I'm going to change my timer here for that. And then I think we just might do some lunges to end this party. Right, okay? See you in just a second. Awesome job. All right, guys, I hope you are back and ready for some lower part of our abs fun. We are doing moves that really focus on this region right here. We are starting with some leg pull-ins. We're going to go into some reverse crunch rockers, reverse crunches, reverse crunch leg lowers, traveling scissors, and then some slow bicycles. So, we're going to get some obliques in there, we're going to get some upper abs too, but we are focusing on the lower portion of our abs. We're doing 50-10 intervals, and off we go. I'm going to do one round of these. I think it'll be enough to cook my goose. You are more than welcome to do more than one round. Let me know how you make out, okay? Here we go. So, we're here on our forearms, and we're just bringing those legs in, okay? You can stay on your back here too especially if you feel strain in your back doing this move. Really smoothly taking those legs in and out. You may find that this is also a hip flexor challenge for you. Those lower abs and hip flexors work very much in cooperation or in conjunction with each other. Ten to go. Three, two, one. Good. All right, our next move, we're going to come up into a little bit of a reverse crunch. So we're calling it a rocker. 
okay? And then you're gonna take your legs in and out just the same way we did last time. So we're gonna rock it, rock, rock it, Good times. Ooh. 18 to go. Lift and squeeze. Go lower down. Four, three. Two, one. All right, we're doing just regular reverse crunches here, okay? And then we're going to add a leg lower to them in the interval after that. <laughs> okay, so this here. Try to lift straight up. my eyes doing ab work. Not to necessarily imagine myself somewhere else, although that sounds fun, but to just totally focus in on the movement and not let anything else distract me. Whether it's a stubbly leg hair or my shoes not being tied easily or dust on a piece of furniture. Good. All right, we're combining this with the leg lower next. I'm stretching it out. Here we go. We're getting there. I can feel this in my entire abdominal wall. Less than 10. Doing great. Good. Excellent. All right, we're going into traveling scissors, which just means we're going to start at the top, okay, and we're going to come down. Maybe you can only come down a little ways. That's okay. Just set that tension on those abs, and you're doing what works for you today based on where you are. About 10 seconds to go. Mm. Starting to burn. Very good. Right, my computer went to sleep on me. I do believe we just have slow bicycle gloves. We do. All right. Enjoy your few seconds of rest. So a lot of people think of this as a just an oblique move, but as you're lowering that leg, especially slowly, and tucking it back up, your lower abs are really having to work hard. My abs will be sore to the touch from this one, I guarantee you. Finish this. 
if you would like to join me, I'm going to do just a minute, maybe two minutes of pass under a lunge. So I'm going to pass the kettlebell under my right and left leg. Okay, I might do two sets of that. Maybe we'll do two 50 10 sets of that. How does that sound? Let's try it right now. Good compromise. Not quite a minute, but less rest. Okay. I'm going to use my third tone kettlebell for this. You use what you've got. I'm going to grab with one hand, take it to the outside of that leg. How you doing? When you pass that bell under, if you want to really hinge that hip, you're going to get more, more glute work. You got one more minute to do these. Truly, duly, let me know if you have that. Second set of abs. <laughs> Second six minutes of ab punishment. It's constructive criticism. The ab work. It tells you what you need to do better, and then it helps you do it by making you strong. I think that's what all exercise is. Constructive criticism for the body. It breaks you down a little bit, but it builds you up. We're getting there. Push that range of motion. Reach under. Step that leg back. And get one more on the other side. Oh, nice. All right, guys. You are truly finished with your January Jackhammer Challenge. I am so proud of you. This was tough in every way. So I want you to take a minute, clear your space. And I will see you back here for your cool down. Awesome job. All right, guys, let's get ready to thank our amazing bodies with a good cool down. All right, let's just start by crisscrossing those arms. And hug yourself. Shoulder, other shoulder, make some big circles with your neck. Let's reverse. Head to the left side of the neck. Gently guide your head towards your shoulder. Other side. Awesome. Those legs stretch out a bit. Take a nice step back. I want you to show yourself the bottom of your foot. 
Okay, good. Stretch for that hip. And push into that hip flexor. Stretch your chest while you're here. Switch sides. Show yourself that sole of your foot. So really stretch out your hips. Push into that hip flexor, feel it on the front of your leg, stretch up the shoulders. Lift the hands down. Now, we're going to come down into plank, lower the chest, push up into a nice cobra. Grabbing my left first, stretch out those quads. Excellent. Release that. Now I want you to inhale. I want you to arch that back. Okay, lower the belly. Exhale, arch the back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Walk the hands back. See if you'll feel some in. And slowly roll it up. Circle those shoulders. Make sure you're nice and loose. And you are all done for today. Awesome job, Jackhammers. I am so proud of you. I will see you back up at the camera for your send off. Awesome work today, Jackhammers. I hope you enjoyed your very first Jackhammer Challenge of 2021. Now, 2020 may have been a doozy for you. It was for all of us, but we can put that all behind us this year, okay? doesn't mean that everything's going to be smooth sailing just because we have gone another time around the sun, but it means that we can start fresh, we can have new goals, we can choose to adopt a different attitude about our situation because a lot of times our situations just don't change okay but we can always change the way that we see them now of course after you try to figure out what those goals are i want you to make sure that you drink a lot of water today get a healthy post-workout meal on your plate 30 to 90 minutes after this workout hit me up for nutrition questions or a plan or some personal training okay i would love to hear from you other than that stretch some more if you need to reach out to someone who is lonely Reach out to somebody who's really isolated right now. There are so many ways that you can reach out and hug people without touching them at all. So touch somebody's heart this week, especially somebody difficult who may be asking for love in all the wrong ways. Other than that, just be amazing you. And whether this January Jackhammer Challenge helped you ring in the new year right, or whether it just really rang your bell, <laughs> you finished. And as always, it is your health today and every day, so you know what you gotta do. You better hit it hard. Boom! Have an awesome day, guys. An awesome rest of January. And I am always proud of you. Be proud of yourself. See you soon.